All right, just going to make a video refuting the Calvinistic twisting of 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 9 to, again, prove their false doctrine that man has no free will in the context of salvation. So let's look at the verse. It says in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 9, Who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. Now, there's a few things I need to point out about this. A key, there's some key aspects, I'll put, it that, I'll put it that way, about this verse. This is a key aspect of this verse that is overlooked by Calvinism. Notice the comma, as well as the, the word and, that separates the phrases saved us and called us. It's separating the two. This holy calling should be, should be looked at in light of, of Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 10, which says, and for we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Okay, the holy calling that is not according to our works is a reference to the post-salvation, sanctification, and changed life. Our salvation is not according to our works, otherwise we would boast. Romans chapter 3, verse 27 and 28. Where is boasting then? Is it, is it excluded by what law? Of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. Therefore we conclude that man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Okay, the Greek word for justified is dikayao. That, that, that's the Greek word. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but that's the word in the Greek for justified. It's dikayao. And Ephesians 2, 8, 9 says, For by grace are you, saved, are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Okay? It's not according to our works, because we are only holy because of Jesus Christ and his imputed righteousness. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 19-21 to wit that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Uh, now then we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. For he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Our post-salvation works are giving God glory rather than ourselves, since God is who cleans up our lives and regenerates us. The victor is who gets the glory, not the one who surrenders. In this case, God is the victor. So the Calvinist twists the holy calling, uh, basically twists what the holy calling in, in 2 Timothy 1 9 is all about. And they overlook the verse uh, separating, they overlook the, the parts of the verse that separate the salvation from the post salvation holy calling, the comma and the word and that separates the two. This is not teaching that mankind has no free will in the context of salvation, not in any sense of the word. You see, this is what Calvinists don't do. It's a cult. They don't cross-reference scripture. They don't compare scripture with scripture. They'll, just, they'll, they'll cherry pick and isolate verses out of context and then just base their whole system off that. That's not how you, that's not how you do things. That, that's, how, that's what cults do. That's how cults operate. So don't be deceived by Calvinism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.